The fat woman who ran the inn came out from the kitchen and shook hands with us. She took off her spectacles, wiped them, and put them on again. It was cold in the inn and the wind was starting to blow outside. The woman sent a girl upstairs with us to show the room. There were two beds, a clothes chest, a washstand, and a big framed steel engraving of Nuestra Señora de Rosses Vages. The wind was blowing against the shutters. The room was on the north side of the inn. We washed, put on sweaters, and came downstairs into the dining room. It had a stone floor, low ceiling, and was oak paneled. The shutters were all up, and it was so cold you could see your breath. My God, can't be this cold tomorrow. I'm not waiting out in the stream in this weather. Mm -hmm. There was an upright piano in the far corner of the room, beyond the wooden tables, and Bill went over and started to play. Well, I've got to keep warm. I went out to find the woman and asked her how much the room and board was. She put her hands under the apron and looked away from How much is this room and board? The Twelve pesetas? Why, we only paid that much in Pamplona. She did not say anything, just took off her glasses and wiped them on her apron. That's too much! We did not pay more than that in a big hotel! We put in bathrooms! Haven't you got anything cheaper? Mm, not, it's the big season now. It's summer. We were the only people in the inn. Well, I thought, it's only a few days. Is the wine included? Yes. Well, it's alright. I went back to Bill. He blew his breath at me to show how cold it was and went on playing. I sat at one of the tables and looked at the pictures on the wall. There was one panel of rabbits, dead, one of pheasants, also dead, and one of dead ducks. The panels were all dark and smoky looking. There was a cupboard full of liquor bottles. I looked at them all. Bill was still playing. How about a hot rum punch? This isn't going to keep me warm forever. I went out and told the woman what a rum punch was and how to make it. 